Hey guys, welcome back and welcome in if you are new. So if you're not new, you would have seen a couple days ago I posted that I got a perm. What do we think of my perm? If you're wondering where's the curl, me too. So a little update. Um, so that was last Saturday. So almost a week ago now I went and got a perm. And um, first of all, perms smell terrible, so I went through all of that for nothing, but it didn't take. Um, and instead of the gal saying, hey, this didn't take, I'm not going to charge you, she proceeded to do the, uh, what is it called? The, I can't even think of what it's called because I don't use it. It's the adapter that you put on your blow dryer. It's like a big flat circle, and then you like scrunch your hair up into it, and it makes your hair, like, you have more curl if you already have curly hair. Anyway, she used it on my hair for about a good 10 to 15 minutes after the perm, just trying to get some sort of wave into it, um, and it just didn't really work. And so instead of admitting that it didn't work and just saying, hey, I'm not going to charge you, or um, I'm going to charge you, but please come back, I'll have somebody else do it, they didn't do any of that. So this girl just charged me, and um, it was $115 to end up with the same straight hair. It just didn't take. She used, uh, I don't remember the brand, but she said it was more gentle on the hair um, and you didn't put it under the heat. So it was just, you put the, the goopy stuff on. No, it was liquid. You put the liquid on and then you let it sit for 20 minutes, rinse it out for five minutes, you take the curls, curlers out, you're supposed to have a beautiful perm. However, that did not work for my hair clearly. Um, the only thing it did was actually, it did change the texture. So at the top here, I actually do have a little more volume, which is nice because um, my hair is always extremely flat. Um, and then at the tips here, it did kind of dry them out. Let me see if I can show you. So that beautiful haircut I got a few weeks ago, um, basically null and void now. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of dry, but other than that, the middle is fine. Um, yeah, so it really just kind of changed the texture up here and then at the very bottom. But other than that, it literally did nothing. So I've spent the last week kind of, I don't want to say fighting because you guys know that's not me. Very polite texts back and forth with the owner. Um, phone calls, voicemails, all of that. Finally, the owner got back to me today. Um, she has responded a few times. Today is the first time that she said she would give my money back, which was great. Uh, she sent me a text that said, um, you know, I reversed the transaction. You should see that on your card very soon. Uh, and please consider trying our salon again. I don't think I'll be trying your salon again. Had you been polite to me and honest in the first place? Yes, maybe, because I will say the one gal there did some beautiful highlights while I was there. Um, she doesn't do perms, <laughs> but she did gorgeous highlights. And I really thought about it. Uh, however, the way that they treated me throughout this week, just trying to get somebody to answer me, um, and, you know, and I was never rude. I was never forceful. I, I was always polite. You know, I just, that's just who I am. And I feel like this is already an awful situation. I was extremely careful not to embarrass the gal that did my hair, uh, in a salon full of people. Um, I decided to pay that bill and take it up with the owner later. So I was very polite, um, and, and to get the kind of treatment that I got, I thought was extremely disrespectful. And to be asked if I would try your business again, I just, I can't, I cannot in good conscience support this business. It's a small business. There's literally one salon. It's a local business. I would love to support them. You guys know I love supporting local and supporting small businesses, but I will never step foot into the salon again especially after the way that they've treated me. So that's my story. Here's my perm. That's what we're going with. And I will just learn to be grateful for this flat, semi-flat now, um, straight hair because it doesn't hold a curl. That's why you guys don't see me do it very often because it doesn't hold a curl. It's so flat. I can't go to good style. However, this has just taught me to be grateful. So here we are straight hair. It could actually look a lot worse than it does. So we're just going to carry on with this. Okay. So I actually do have a fun video planned for you. I actually have two Dior boxes here. We have some Dior goodies there. A couple of them I've unboxed with you when I picked up the other day in person. Um, but then I want to show you. So if you guys notice, there are some fun lip glosses behind me. You guys know I love lip gloss and I've been dabbling and making my own. And I have sent out, I would say probably 20 tubes. It's got to be more than that. Um, I've sent out a bunch 
to a bunch of you and you have kindly given me your feedback and I will say most of it has been very good um, and a lot of you are requesting that I sell these so I was tinkering around I kind of want to show you what I have going on and then we'll get to these fun Dior products so let's start with the lip glosses first so the first thing I'm playing around with is packaging so I love these. I absolutely love these. I do have it in black. So all of this up here is black. And then there's a little bit of clear down here, which just shows you the color of the lip product. This one just happens to be pink. So the black looks really cool. It's black here, fades down into the pretty pink of the lip gloss. So this is one idea that I have for packaging. Now I love these, but I will say that these are far more expensive, about a dollar more container than the ones I'm going to show you. So as much as I like these, they will come with an increased cost. So I do want to put that out there. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. And this is definitely more expensive than the packaging I'm going to show you, which is still cute. So let me know your opinions, but I want to show you the colors that I'm working on too. Okay. So this one is mainly just to show you the color, but this is such a pretty pale pink. Now these are two different packages. This one has a black lid. This one has a silver and they do have my fingerprints on them. I apologize for that. I've been touching them. Um, of course they, everything will be clean and you know, process with gloves and everything like that. So you won't see any fingerprints. Just these happen to be the set that I was working on to show you guys. So they're more kind of personal, um, even though they've not been used, but they've definitely been handled on the outside by me. So compliments of my fingerprints. <laughs> so this is one set of packaging. So a silver cap or a black cap. There is a pink cap. I'll show you that too, but I just love this very light pink. It actually looks clear when it goes on. So I'm in love with this one. I have been using this one for probably a good month now on my own personal bottle. So I'm really, really enjoying it. This color was super fun to make. It does go on with a slight purple tint, but it is definitely not a deep purple. The fun thing is the only thing that this is colored by is edible glitter. So uh, everything else in here is clear, but that edible glitter really turned it this really cool shade of purple. And I love the glitter in here. And again, this is just that silver lid. And then these are fun. So all the same color. It's this kind of burgundy rose. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. And then, so here's that pink lid I was telling you about, and then black and silver again. So these are really, really affordable options for packaging. And I'm getting good feedback on these too, but the general consensus is that you like that smaller packaging better, but it is more expensive. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, you know, I want to make something affordable. Um, and the product I I've got to tell you guys, I I'm loving it. It's so good. It's all natural. There are just essential oils in there. Um, it, it's so nice and it is nourishing on the lips. Uh, you would have seen last week, I actually had a sore on my lip from a food allergy which unfortunately does happen quite often for me. Um, anytime I have anything acidic, breaks me out, and no matter how much I clean my lips after I eat, um, it just doesn't matter. Um, and there's so many acidic things, even, you know, tomato sauce. That just gets me every time. Um, so I end up with those sores a lot. And it always takes a good week or two for them to go away. And I thought after a day, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try my own lip gloss and see if it does anything. And it actually cleared my lip up within just a couple days versus a couple, a week or a couple weeks. So it worked really well. I actually kind of impressed myself. Um, and everything is food grade. So there's no nasty chemicals. There's no nasty additives. Um, doesn't have those little cute clay bits that everybody seems to be throwing in the lip glosses these days. That stuff is not, it's like a polymer clay and it's leaching out into the product. And to me, that's just disgusting. I know they're adorable, but I would never use it because of that. Um, and so these just don't have anything like that in there. Um, I will say the the scents and the flavors are pretty fun. So I have a sour blue raspberry. I have a sweet mint, and then I have a sweet cotton candy. Those were the, the flavors I was playing around with this week. Um, and they're just, they're so fun. I have a champagne scent. That's really nice. Actually, it's a Merlot. I have a Merlot scent. That's really, really nice. Um, so lots of fun things happening. Um, behind the scenes so um let me know i'm getting some good feedback i will gladly put these up on my website if you guys are interested and um i want to name them um 
so put some fun names in the comments for me. I have an idea that I would really love to do. Um, I actually have some members um, that contribute monthly to my channel, and it just means a world to me that you believe in my channel enough to, you know, spare any extra change you have. So I really, really love the idea of naming this first collection. Uh, can I say collection? Um, this first go round. I love the idea of naming it after the members, uh, just first name. So I, I don't know, I just love that. Um, let me know what you guys think, but it's kind of a, a nod as a thank you to those of you who do support my channel. Speaking of that, you're welcome to join. If you haven't, there is a join button and there are a few different levels. Um, and if you can't, if you cannot donate to the channel or support the channel monthly, that's okay. Your likes, comments, and subscribes and shares are just as important as well. So I wouldn't be here without any of you guys. So um, let me know, let me know your thoughts. Um, I think I'm going to start selling these. They're doing well for those who have reviewed them for me. Um, and it's just one step in building this fun community. And you guys are so great for letting me use my creativity every day. I thank you so much for that. Okay, let's get into the Dior because we all love it. And let's do it. So let's start with some things that you have already seen. So I did open these in a short for you guys the other day. I was too excited. I couldn't wait. So I did go pick up, actually I had to order this one. So I tried to pick this up uh, at the Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, it's about an hour 20 from me. So I tried to pick that up. They didn't have them yet. So I did order this online at SaksFifthAvenue.com. And one of our other buttercups did let me know that Nordstrom has these as well. So you can always try there if you have a Nordstrom or you can order online. So I love these. You guys know I love the balm. I was trying not to get into it, but I love it. And you know that I also mix my Miss Dior lotion, my body lotion in here. I put a couple squirts in this plain balm because I don't love the balm by itself, but I love the Miss Dior in here. So I just mix a little bit. I squirt it in. This is, this does unscrew. If you don't know, you can actually take this lid off and you can refill it um, or you can add different scents to it. And that's what I did. I put a little Miss Dior, squeezed it in, gave it a good shake, mixed it up, and I absolutely love it. I will say, I think that Dior missed the mark on this. I think with this beautiful pink canage, so reminiscent of the Miss Dior bottle, I think that they should have made this in the Miss Dior scent. We have Jador, we have the plane. Why not make this one into a Miss Dior? I think they missed the mark there. They could have done it or even the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. That's just a selfish choice because that's my favorite. Uh, but I think they missed the mark. I think they should have done this in a Miss Dior scent. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one you would have seen as well. This is the lipstick case. Now, did I need this? Absolutely not. Did I want it? Absolutely. So I went ahead and I picked up the Dior Mania case. So, so cute. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. I'm pretty sure that's what they used to call this logo print. Uh, but so cute. Now my camera is not doing it justice. It's a little bit darker. My ring light just happens to be uh, bleaching it out a bit, but so pretty. I absolutely love it. And if you want to see how they work, it's in my short from yesterday, day before. Go ahead and check that out. But the, literally the lipstick just pops right in. So cute. And you can mix and match. So there is my cute little case. Okay, so this one you didn't see. So I actually picked this up at Saks Fifth Avenue when I went hunting for the lotion and the lipstick case. I did pick this up. It is just a color I have been wanting to try. And since I have been doing some more daring lip colors for myself lately, I thought, you know what, let's go all in and let's get something dark. So I actually have to admit, I did try this out the other day in the house. And you guys know that my son Quinn hates loads when I wear makeup. And so I put this lipstick on fully expecting him to hate it. And he goes, hmm, I don't hate it. And I was like, okay, okay, maybe we have a winner. So let me show you, cause this is such a pretty color. This is color 111, it's called Forever Night. Now, if that tells you it's dark, it's dark. I just think this is so pretty. So let me swatch it for you. Oh my goodness, you ready? Look at that. Now that might not be scary for some people. For me, that's a whole lot of newness. And I will say I absolutely loved this on my lips. It was so cool. I, I don't really know how to say how I felt in it. I don't want to say I felt sexy, but I definitely felt like kind of cool and edgy, like not me. Um, so I cannot wait to do this in a video and show you guys just how cool it looks. And it actually smells really good too. 
So this one is again number 111, the Rouge Dior Forever, and it is called Forever Night. And the packaging is really cool. It's kind of a matte finish. Really pretty. Okay, let's do two tiny unboxings. Now, I honestly don't even remember what these are. I ordered these a few weeks back. Um, it actually would have been before we had a discussion about how much money I've spent uh, in Dior just since starting my channel. Uh, actually, it was just last year. Um, if you missed that video, you're welcome to go back and watch it. I'll give you a quick recap. Um, it's I've spent over $20,000 in Dior Beauty just last year uh, buying content for my channel. Um, and a lot of you know that that format is going to change. Uh, you probably already noticed it has changed. I've not nearly been spending as much. I used to do like $500 videos and I literally just cannot do that anymore. Um, I am seeing a financial advisor who's helping me get back on track. I am pleased to say I've already paid off two cards in the last six weeks. So happy about that. I have a long way to go, but at least it's a turn in the right direction. Um, and I know that quite a few of you are interested in a video explaining paying off my debt. So I want to do that for you soon. We'll have a great, uh, very open discussion. I will lay out for you where the money is, what needs to be paid off, how I'm doing it. Do we tackle the highest percentage first? Do we tackle the highest balance first? Like what is the right step for this? I was actually surprised to learn that what I've been doing for my car payment, I should not be doing. Um, so a lot of cool things that I just want to discuss with you guys because I know that a lot of you are in the same boat just by being obsessed with Dior. So maybe we can get out of this together. Okay, so back to it. Let's go through these two little tiny hauls. I'll be surprised because like I said, I have forgotten uh, just because it's been so long. So let's start with the top bag. Um, just the cute white pebble. So of course, none of these are going to be the Mother's Day packaging. Like I said, I ordered these uh, quite a while ago. So um, at some point, would I like to get my hands on the Mother's Day package? Yes. Uh, is it a necessity? No, I would have not said that before, but I have to be very smart about it. It's not a necessity. Uh, it's just a want. So um, I might get it. I might not, but I cannot promise. Okay. So in here now we just have the little white bag with the filler. I took everything out. Looks like I got one item in this order and let's see what I wrote in the card. Oh, cute. Sometimes I'm just like, really, did I say that? <laughs> it says shine on you beauty queen. Oh my gosh. How cute. Sometimes I'm adorable. And then sometimes I read these and I'm like, why? What was I thinking? Okay. So let's set that aside. All right, let's go through the freebies and then I'll show you what I bought. So this is going to be very lackluster in the freebie department because I literally didn't even spend a hundred dollars. So I'm not getting that third item. And this product order was so low and there was no promo code that had no minimum. So of course I couldn't use a promo code. So I literally just got the two items for ordering. Uh, so I picked up the J'adore Lore and then the Miss Dior Parfum, which is the new one, which smells really, really great. So those are the two that I picked up. Okay, let's get into what I ordered. Okay, so it looks like I got a polish. What color did I get? This one is called Grace, number 558. I couldn't even tell you what color. okay very pretty it's almost more mauve in person but it looks almost a little more salmon in the camera but what a pretty color so now I have two to use oh maybe I'll use them together I'm looking down here because my Chanel's down there let me grab it I'm going to show you the Chanel that I opened last week and then I'll show you the Dior oh that'll be a great uh, test as well because I I've told you that I really prefer the Chanel polish over the Dior polish. So that would be a great test to put them both on at the same time. See which one lasts longer. It'll be a, a Dior Chanel showdown. So let me grab that polish and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the polishes together. I don't know if I love that combo, but you know what? For the sake of science and our wallets, I think I will try them together and see which one will outlast. My money's on Chanel. Okay, so that is the Dior polish in this order. Okay, last but not least, we have this cute little box. Now, again, I don't know what's in here because uh, this was ordered quite some time ago as well. So we will both be surprised together. 
I love their boxes. You guys know this. Oh, and I picked up some B stamps to finish off that box. Um, so I'm excited to do that with you guys very soon. Let me know. Would you like to do that in a live? I know I wanted to make a bracelet with you guys with the Dior charm. However, I cannot find a way to make a kit for you guys that's not going to cost me like a thousand dollars to make seven eight or nine kits so um i think i'm just going to do a video to show you how i make mine and then you're welcome to do yours i'll show you everything that i use tell you where i got it um unfortunately as much as i wanted to do a live event together i just don't see financially how i can do it and get you all everything that you need including the do our charm but I'm happy to show you how I do mine, and then you can create your own afterwards. Okay, back into this one. Oh, that was so easy to pull off. All right, so it looks like I may have gotten a lip pencil. Okay, so let's go through the little freebies. Again, not even a high enough spend to use a promo code. So let's see what I chose this time. Is it the same? It's literally the same thing. So Miss Dior Parfum and the J'adore Lore. Well, at least we know I'm consistent in my choices. <laughs> the cute little Dior bag. And then let's get into the lip. Now, I think I got this to match. I did. I got this to match the uh, Chanel. Do you remember the crystal lipstick that one of our buttercups gifted me? Um, so I got this to match because this was actually less expensive than the Chanel. And, um, I just thought that this would be a really good match for that crystal lipstick. So this one is 909. It's called Midnight. Oh, it's so pink next to this, uh, deeper shade, but that is the, the lip liner right there. So pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to try them. So we'll have to do that soon. A full face of makeup. <laughs> a full face of makeup um and then use that chanel lipstick again i have so many fun things to try with you guys and a lot of it revolves around makeup so we've still got to do that face and makeup that my husband picked out for me at tj maxx we've got this fun new lip color here i've got the chanel crystal lipstick and now a lip liner to go with it so okay we've got a lot of content to cover Plus some fun things that you don't even know about. So if you have not subscribed, look at this segue. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do turn on that bell notification so you do not miss another video. And again, you're welcome to join my membership. And if you can't do that, not a problem. Be sure to subscribe and share. That really helps a bunch and it's free. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you made it this far, I appreciate it so much. But thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys. Yeah.